What is going on everybody and welcome on into today's video, a full stock market technical update for you here. Let us dive right on in. So finishing up the week ending Friday, April 22nd, here is what we got. A pretty bloody week. Take a look at the right hand side. We haven't seen just a complete bloodbath across the board, across every sector, almost every stock. It was pretty nasty on a Friday, okay? Now, alert your attention over here to the advancers, decliners. And this is a tiny bit small. Let me zoom in a tiny bit more. We saw that about 15% of stocks advanced on Friday, 81% declined. We had 39 stocks hit new highs and 1,040 hit new lows, okay? About 28% of stocks are above their 50-period simple moving average and about 26% above their 200 SMA, Okay. The Dow finished down nearly 3%, the NASDAQ down 2.5%, and the S&P down about 2.75% on Friday. So this is nasty, but let's talk about some other data, other numbers we need to consider, okay? First, the 10-year, 10-year Treasury, 2.9%. It's been getting stuffed here. Take a look at the past five days. When this loads, you'll see that we've actually come up to about 295 a couple of times here, the 19th, here on the 21st. And then on the 22nd, we actually couldn't really break over 2.91. So this is something to watch. On the past five-year scale, we have not seen the 10-year treasury get above three and hold above three for any sustained period of time. Back in late 2018, we did. And then guess what? Late 2018 was a bottom, market bottom then. And we actually rallied very, very nice until the pandemic, okay? Something to think about, something to make sure you're aware of. We are coming up into a very strong area of resistance over the past decade for the 10-year, okay? It has been downtrending on a bigger time scale. Oil is sitting here just over 100 bucks, but finished quite weak on Friday with the market. So it kind of makes some sense there. But while we're watching this, obviously, the lower oil goes, the better the inflation numbers can be going forward throughout the next couple of months. CPI numbers, uh, we shall see. So some big picture thoughts to take into account. Make sure you're aware of these things. Now let's look at the charts. I will ask you really quick, what are your thoughts on the overall market? You think we're going up from here? You think we're going down below the lows that we saw in late February, early March? This 409 on the S&P on SPY that we're looking at right now? We are coming down to this box. I drew this box as a zone. This was the lows that we saw back in October 2021 and also kind of in line with a lot of these wicks to the downside, some of the lows we saw in January, 2021. So if we end up holding around the January lows, this could still be setting up for an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Now, if we do drop below 409, then it's no longer valid, okay? That's the lows uh, that we saw back in late February, okay? That's our look at SPY. We came up to 450 on Thursday, got rejected very, very hard. So 450, which was our prior resistance back here on the 7th and 8th of, of uh, April, 450 is a strong resistance. So as SPY climbs back up, if it does, that'll be the next, that'll be a very substantial spot. 450 on SPY will be a spot to watch. Beyond that, 457 is the next spot to watch. There's a double top there, a reject point here that brought us into where we're at right now, okay? That's your update on SPY, the S&P. Now, NASDAQ, different story. We'll look at the QQQs, the Qs, okay? Tech stocks. QQQ has a lot, a lot of earnings coming up next week. I believe we got some Google, Apple, Amazon. We got some big, big boys, big players coming in next week for earnings. So this could be very, very volatile next week. And we are approaching the lows. We are approaching the lows from March. Okay, we came down to about... 317 on QQQ. Very, very funny. Guess what? That's also the low that we saw in May of 2021. So this 316, 317 will be a very strong area of support if QQQ comes down that far. We have about seven, eight bucks, nine bucks to go until we hit that spot or close. Back to the upside, this 335 was an area of support right here a couple days ago, and it was an area of support back in January. This 335 on the Qs will be an area to watch as resistance, as well as this box right here, about 348 on QQQ, pretty strong area of resistance to watch. Gap fill up here towards about 360. If we can get back to the upside, it could happen. We could snap back very fast, guys. Look at this move we saw from these lows 
317 to 372 in about two and a half weeks, not even. I mean, it's nuts. So we can get back up there pretty quick as we've seen. Okay, just something to think about. Okay, there's QQQ. Let's look at small caps. IWM, the Russell, the Russell 2000 ETF, IWM. We are looking at the Russell right now and it's right into an area of support. We've come down below 195, 195, and every time it hasn't stayed there that long. It's actually bounced back quite soon after. So we'll see if we get a couple days below here or if it bounces right back and the same trend continues. Um, IWM 205 area of resistance right here. Uh, that was a prior support back last year. Got rejected right there at that line. So very, very crucial spot rejection boom. Okay. Now I want to mention one last sector, XBI, because it's been biotechs. It's a sector that's been getting absolutely annihilated. Here's our downtrend line right now. Hit a new low, a new 52-week low. Now, guys, it's interesting because a lot of biotech stocks, these are the most volatile stocks in the stock market, but a lot of the biotech stocks that are trading with substantially high cash values, they took advantage of the pandemic, they took advantage of the past like two years and raised capital, did offerings, all that stuff. They're trading at substantially high cash values relative to their market cap, levels we have not seen in a long time. So this is an interesting sector to watch. Obviously, what's been you know weak is going to keep getting beat down. That's the story. But it's been a very interesting sector to watch for sure. Uh, and it's something that we'll be watching going forward. If this makes a nice move, that means that there may be some more risk on approach in the stock market. And ideally, you will see that if the 10-year comes down. Okay, 10 year down, you're probably looking at QQQ up, SPY probably up, XBI probably up as well. Okay, so this last little uh, little point right here where uh, we saw a little bit of a, a resistance at 2.5 is a spot we're watching on, on the uh, the 10 year, 2.5 or so as a possible pullback support zone. If it breaks below that, we can come down towards two, but we'll start there with that 2.5 and see if we can get a move uh, to that level first. If this area of resistance is what holds up on the 10 year and it does not break over three. That's what we're watching. There will be a link in the video pinned comment and description box that covers three awesome trading signals to add to your arsenal. Check it out, it is completely free. Links, resources all down below. Make sure you are subscribed. Let us know what stocks you want us to cover next and we'll definitely be talking about them. Thanks so much guys and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.